You know, typically I wouldn't answer this kind of a question because it's a, a waste of time, but there is a learning opportunity here. And so I'm taking this question and using it with you as a learning opportunity. By the way, in total fairness to the person who asked this question, no, it's not an email address. At best, it's an email domain uh, uh, name with the at symbol in front of it, but I think the person who asked the question knows it's not an actual email address. However, what I want to address is what is this? Could this be an email domain? Could it be a website domain? Yes or no? And here's what I want to share with you. I want to share with you a tool called MX Toolbox, mxtoolbox.com. Just hit enter on that. And what I want to do is I'll put that URL in here, tinkdebbie.com. Just the, the, just the domain uh, URL, not the www or any of that stuff. And I have an MX lookup. MX lookup means mail exchange lookup. If I do a mail exchange lookup on that, you can see there's no DMARC, there's no DNS. Um, it does not exist. There's no reference in here about that URL, that domain existing as an email address. Well, what is a, what about as a website? So I change this and I do a DNS lookup and click on DNS lookup. Again, no record found. So it's not a DNS, uh, excuse me, it's not a web address either. So let's do one more search. Let's do what's called a who is. And a who is is where it looks deeper into the domain registration to see did somebody register that, does somebody own it? I'll do a click on that. No match for the domain. So really cool tool, mxtoolbox.com, really useful to figure out is an email, is a domain an email address, is it a website, and who owns it? And there's other stuff in here that you may well look at as well It might be a little bit beyond the context of this conversation. But the bottom line, that's not an email address, and that's also not a, a web address, and it's also not a registered domain. To me, it's probably a worthless Quora question, but it created an opportunity for a learning experience. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful to most of you.